Hey guys, sorry I'm an hour late. I'm so sorry about that. Actually, one of my um, children is homesick right now, so um, I wasn't expecting that, and that kind of threw me into this whirl. Anyways, I'm late. I'm on right now, and I just want to share something with you that I just learned. I know last week I said that I was going to talk about um, the different body systems. I was going to start on that, and I'm actually going to push that until next week. I will go over, I'll start the different body systems and what supplements and essential oils can help support those systems. But I got a really cool message from my friend Lisa today and she shared something with me um, about the super moon. And it was an article, so I started um, reading it and I thought, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I've gotta share this with you guys because the super moon is tomorrow, it's happening. So if you don't know what a super moon is, it is basically when the orbit of the moon it's as close as it can be basically um, to Earth. So the moon appears larger and brighter. Okay, but we know the effect like that the moon has on tides, right? Like how it can affect the oceans, tides. Um, so it's interesting when you kind of put that in perspective with what that could be doing to us, to like living, you know, beings. So, um, I don't know if you've experienced this, but some people experience during this time, they're, they're really sensitive to the energies of the moon, and it can actually affect how they're feeling um, energetically and physically and emotionally. So I, re I was reading this article that she sent to me, and it was just really fascinating. So this is um, the third supermoon that we've had. It's called like a, it's supposed to be really powerful, basically, because it's the third one in a row. So the, um, First one was in December. The second supermoon was January 1st. And then now the last supermoon is on January 31st, which is tomorrow. So some people are really sensitive to this. And what they're feeling is they're feeling um, kind of like uh, maybe a zing in energy. They're feeling energetically high. Maybe their mind is kind of going crazy. And um, they may even feel a little anxious. Um, or um, irritable, there might also be some other um, feelings that you can be experiencing. So some people may be really emotionally sensitive um, where they're just feeling um, very emotionally unstable. Um, another feeling that you could be feeling is um, that time is going too slow or too fast. Um, you might have temporary loss of memory. You might forget things a lot right now. You might be having really vivid dreams. Um, I did mention the anxiety, but you also may feel a little panicky. Um, you might be sensitive to, to noise, to tastes, to touch. Um, you might have chronic fatigue that you're feeling um, or zoned out or feeling ungrounded. So. Um, I was really fascinated by this article because it kind of goes into the science aspect of it. So it talks about the vibrational frequency of our planet um, and that how that's increasing at a, a really fast, rapid speed. And um, the Earth's frequency basically heightens our own personal frequency. And I was really fascinated by that because there's actually a lot of talk about essential oils having frequency. And they've actually measured them with the device um, having def different megahertz and, and whatnot. So I am just don't know a whole lot about it. But from what I'm reading and picking up on, it sounds really, I'm drawn in. I'm definitely intrigued with it. So um, we know a little bit about you know the gravitational pull, the magnetic push that the, the moon has on the planet. And um, when you take into consideration the universal law of vibration, that kind of explains how everything in the universe is made of energy or basically light in motion. So um, that's constantly changing and vibrating at different speeds. So it's really fascinating. So um, that can be changed by the energy and the pull from the moon and it being in a super moon. So I was really like drawn into that. I mean, the article was really fascinating. So I thought, oh my gosh, there, she was asking me about oils, what oils would be good to support that, to support what she's feeling. So I started thinking about it. So um, it depends on what you're feeling. If you're feeling emotional, then you would definitely reach for your emotional support essential oils. So maybe it's um, forgiveness, maybe it's release. So you can release, you know, what's no longer serving you. Um, it might be harmony or joy. Um, then there's some other ones that are actually more grounding. So the valor is really, really grounding if you're feeling ungrounded. Northern Lights uh, Black Spruce. 
sacred mountain, uh, gratitude essential oil. Maybe you want to kind of raise your frequency with this essential oil. That's fantastic to do. Um, different choices there. And then another one that's really good is if you're feeling maybe a little bit kind of sluggish or whatnot, awaken is a really good one. That'll kind of awaken your senses to kind of tune you in with maybe what uh, energy you are receiving. And then there's some really cool ones because this article, sorry, my kids are here. Um, there is a really cool art in this article that goes on to talk about this being kind of like a, um, a time for us when the super moon, the third super moon is here to um, basically kind of tap in and get kind of reloaded energetically. So it's really quite fascinating. And um, that you can basically raise your consciousness, your conscious level at this time. So if you're looking to do that, if you're looking to find like your life purpose, um, anything like that, I have some great oil suggestions for that. So one is called Highest Potential. It's actually incredibly grounding as well. Um, fantastic. So I would apply these topically and I would also be inhaling them aromatically. Just a drop in my hand, cupped over my nose, those three big deep inhalations through my nose. Fantastic. And then I would maybe set an intention that I want to achieve with that. My daughter's here. Um, another one that's really good is transformation because it can actually, it's a good time where it can actually, the super moon could transform you um, into being this more energetic conscious collectiveness or collective consciousness. Um, so this one would be a really good oil to use that could actually help you transform to become more attuned with the universal energy. And then the other one I want to talk about is magnify your purpose. So again, if you kind of are, you know, wanting to kind of recharge and, and gain more insight on your life's purpose, magnify your purpose is an amazing oil. I've been doing what my sister-in-law Colonna Giuliano does. She puts a little bit in her palm and then she, so she'll, she'll do this. She'll just do a drop. I'm almost done, Seja. And then um, rub it onto fingertips. And then she just takes her fingers and basically just massages her head, which is awesome. And then you smell like magnify your purpose and it smells amazing. And then it's on the tissue that's closest to your brain. So it's really going to tap into that um, amygdala, the part of your brain, the pineal gland, all that stuff. So let's see. It looks like I've got some people on. Oh, somebody saying hi to Seja and Glory. Oh. Um, I love magnify your purpose and um, I was thinking MYP what is that yeah some really cool ideas um, the article maybe I'll post it on the link below because it was actually kind of fascinating to to think about and it kind of got my wheels turning in my mind and I kind of want to explore frequency a little bit more so have a great day today guys thanks for being so patient I'm gonna actually skip the raffle today I'll do two raffles next week and I think I'm gonna raffle off like I said last week this so I'll raffle this off two of copies of these to two lucky winners next week okay so I will see you guys shortly and uh, next week it is um, health and wellness to you guys and enjoy your super powerful moon tomorrow and get your oils out the other good thing is if you don't have oils you can actually order oils and they'll get delivered to you within a week and I did hear that the energy of the moon <laughs> The energy of the moon actually can stay with you um, even after the full moon has passed. So um, don't feel like, you know, dang it, I don't have those oils. You can still get those oils and you'll be armed and ready to go um, in just like a week's time. All right, guys, have a great uh, evening and afternoon and happy super full moon to you guys. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.